Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Inkais. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Inkais Plays Dungeon of the Endless, the Drill Pod. Uh, we've been doing great, and I don't know if it's because I'm really good right now, or because it's still like some of the earlier floors, and they're easier, but I, I like to think that I'm being an amazing player, and I'm kicking the dungeon's ass. So we're gonna go and we're gonna steamroll the next floor. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Like, I don't want to be too overconfident because you know what they say about overconfidence. It's, uh, it's a delicious burrito. No, I don't think that's what they say about it in Darkest Dungeon. But we're going to start with our beautiful, brand spanking new food replicator level 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't be on it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it right now. Let's go check the other directions. Game, please give me one single dead end. I will forever love you. And I'm not just saying that. I will I will forever love you. I see it, you ruined it. I will not love you forever now. And don't even think that you can bribe my love with a self-powered room. Oh no. Oh no, you cannot buy it. Not like that. Oh no, no, Team 5. Um, team 5, you go right. We're gonna get to the bottom of this side. Uh, lots of dust. This is incredible. Speed 100%. Wonderful. Uh, we're gonna let this be for now. Because I don't know what the fate of this side is going to be. It seems like it's going to be meh. Um, sure. You got me here. You got me pretty good. And we're gonna have a couple of you guys. Why don't, um, that's it. Why don't you stay back? <clears throat> and then Mizi and Ken. Don't want to call you Kenny. It's weird. Why don't you guys go ahead and check out this room? All because this 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 adjacent room to the crystal is so slim. Like I, I can't defend it. Oh great! Food production just died. We're gonna get half a food per enemy we kill. Uh, power this up. I don't know what the hell is going on with this this floor. I just need a simple layout, please. Um, dead end. Nope. 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 Meh. Okay. Okay. 250. Okay. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Mechanical pal, is it time to uh, do it? I think it's time to do it. Let's do it. It's been showing up repeatedly, and you know what? I think it's time to just take it, be done with it. And, uh, and also, we're gonna take advantage of the steels disappearing hopefully soon in a maximum of five turns. I'm gonna set a couple of extra major modules here. But for now, we're gonna take the team and we're gonna check this room, which is obviously a dead end. And the reason I've prioritized this side, haven't powered it all the way through and, you know, gone and checked out these sides is because this room, only because this left room is adjacent so close to this other room that it was going to be a dead end and I knew that. And that pretty much convinced me that this side is most likely going to be ultimately a dead end. So we're not going to waste our dust in this direction. Shopkeeper though, what do you sell? Power suit. Sonic gun. We don't have a gun user, do we? No. Prison uniform, though. I think I'm gonna take that. It's a higher level. A lot better. So we'll buy that for sure. Or... Both? Shall we? It's gonna be 105 industry. 
It's going to be worth it, though. Power suit, defense, speed reduction. Or maybe just go with the power suit. Give it to Aseb. Oh no, maybe give it to him. Yeah, give this to Aseb. Give the power suit to Ken. Because he's going to need the defense. He's already at 41. And then... Power suit to you, and then that to you. Well, let's go one by one. We will buy that, right? Right? Just buy. Cool. Pretty expensive, but um, I believe. Oh, by the way, resell the crutch. Crutchy as well. Um, so what were we talking about? We we're talking about giving the king's armor to Esseb. And it's going to help him out, because he, he's lacking the HP, but he's good in the defense department. So he's going to be at 50 defense. And then we're going to give this to Ken. It's going to put him at 36. And you're going to have this. I like it. I think it's uh, pretty good. Aftershave is going to save our heroes. Hopefully, we won't lose anybody on this floor because of Aftershave as long as we are... Or they are strong enough, I should say. Alright, can just go talk to this man. Sell him the things we do not need. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm just going to go check on my washer machine. It's being so loud. I'm going to go shut that door over there. I'll be right back. Okay, um, we're, we're, we're good. The house has not been flooded. Water sprayed on the wall. It's all good. <laughs> did we finish this business here? Yeah, we did. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let me drink some uh, coffee here. Team five. One more door. Oh, this side has got to be a dead end. Come on, don't do this to me. Save the shopkeeper. No, the... <laughs> I mean, I don't need the shopkeeper for anything, which is... <laughs> I feel bad for him. <laughs> he could die now, I don't care. We actually don't need him, but... I want to be a good person. 69! <laughs> Every time it happens. Um, okay. Mechanic mechanical pals are going to come up, so a lot of these uh, modules in the rooms like that are going to get a little boost. Tiny little boost. We're gonna keep going this direction. It does loop around, Mechanical Pal. Research. Do you guys stay here? Essa, just go check on this real quick. Suppressive Firebot, I think, is the next one that I want to get. Um. We're actually industry generator level two. The, the sooner we get these, I think the better it's gonna be because we still have so many floors to go through. 684 food, more than justifies leveling people up. You get your second ability, which is uh, shrapnel shrapnelizer. Monsters in room damage of 180 HP right away. Heroes in room also take 80 damage, so it's kind of dangerous. Uh, major modules and artifacts in room also take damage. It's just Explosion, nice. So everything blows up. Uh, minor modules also take damage. And it just turns things into smaller pieces of things. <laughs> A little scary. Take it. That's pretty good for you. Take it. That's a lot of extra HP. She's already at uh, over a thousand HP, but some of it does come from the 
uh, King's Arbor, but still. Uh, take it. Alright, so Elise was the only person, or the only hero, who actually got something aside from stat increases in it, her second ability, which is scary, but the good thing is, on the other hand, we have Ken, who has repair, so even if the modules take damage, we can just bring him in, and he can just take care of everything, so life is good. Oh, there you are. I was like, Team 5, I know you have more than, we have more than uh, two members. Could this side actually not be a dead end? Is that a possibility? Who has Do you have Scamper? Does anybody have Scamper here on Team 5? Esub, you have Scamper. Alright. Esub, you're gonna be my door opener. Measy, you stand in there. Ken, you're good where you are. And Esub, go ahead. Get this one. Come back, come back, come back, and get ready. This is not going to be the easiest way. Well, I don't even have that many things that can help me in these huge uh, confrontations like that. I need Norison module, that's for sure. Bioorganic transference will be good. It will pay off. At least is my last line of defense. If all thing, if everything just goes to hell, she's gonna be there to protect us. All right. Yeah, that heal is very significant. Look at that. Let's keep him alive. More than alive. Imagine having two of them. Until those cr fl freaking flying crystals show up and ruin my life. Alright, time to do this. Yeah, if we if we don't have, if, have anything that can really deal damage to monsters and rooms, I'd like my heroes to get a little more powerful. So definitely do that. You keep working on the food. Um, we can afford a few mechanical pals, specifically two of them on this guy. It cracks jokes, cooks meals, shines shoes, and operates modules. Isn't it nice? It's gonna be the cost of one door. Industry 404 not found. Put one down. Goes up to 16. I uh, didn't, couldn't push it up to 17. That's fine. We can also kind of push our science creation. I think another module would be more worth it than loading this guy with um, mechanical pals. To be honest with you, so team five, get ready for a. Another industry module to land here, and you guys are going to have to protect it with everything you have. Mizi, stay right there. No, actually, Mizi, you go in this room. And Aseb, you have no choice, my friend, but to open this door for me. And retreat you shall. Two waves, and a third wave coming from that room. A little scary. I'll admit. A little scary. Put that down. I think what I'm gonna do here is... Put one of these down. Is it gonna be worth it for 12? Every 6 is gonna give us 1. So, meaning, if we're gonna get 12 out of this, 
it's gonna be 12 times 6. We're gonna have to kill like 60 some freaking monsters on this side. Are we gonna be dealing with 60 some monsters coming through here? I don't know. Maybe. Say 10 per wave. Per door. Maybe? I'm not sure. Honestly. But regardless, this side is a dead end. Um, we might as well actually push things forward. A little bit, at least by one room. And... I still want to try this. I still want to load one room with some blasters and see if it really does good damage to monsters or not. So what I'm going to do is something completely different. We're going to have... One tear gas here. And hear me out. It's gonna be a lot of money. Well, this is just a test. This is just a drill. We're gonna see how these two handle this giant room. With monsters, defense is cut by 2.88. And we're gonna hope that it works. Because we're gonna have to go in other directions, and it it scares me. We're not gonna connect these. I mean, we're gonna connect these rooms, but I'm not gonna. Uh, open it and create this loop here because the monsters are just going to pour in this direction and that's not going to be good. In fact, I might leave this to be the last door that I ever touch in the dungeon. So, how about we leave Meezy alone because she's very good on her own. We're going to leave her in this room. We're going to take Esib and Ken. We're going to go down here. See what's up. Yeah, do some stretching exercises. Get ready for some crazy combat, girl. Let's go. Keeps going. We'll go along with it. Wow, nobody came. Okay. Nobody came! HR manual. What did you do? Team spirit ensures you always work better in groups. What did it give? What did it give? There you go. You actually have a free slot. There you go. Take that. And tell me what it does. Because I forgot. Self. Defense plus 15 if not alone in the room. Attack power plus 15 if not alone in the room. Do you need the attack and defense? You do need the attack. Yeah, hold on to it. Hold on to it. You don't need a defense. I mean, wow, you're so tanky now. Christ, you're tankier than Elise, who's not even allowed to wear armor. Woo! Okay. Don't let me down. I don't know why you were taking so much damage. I don't know why you were being targeted by all the monsters, dude. I kind of feel bad for you. Sorry. Dust. Dust and self-powered rooms. Press a firebot. What is... Life is good... Life is dangerous. Three waves. Nah, definitely worthless. Definitely a worthless combination. These guys. Th that's. The room this big is like their best opportunity to shine and show me that they're gonna do something for me. But. Low, like, third defense. Or, you know, the monster's defense is lower by one-third. We have two of these, and it still didn't do anything to them, and all of these do AoE damage. Unless you would put a Norasan module in there too, and it just becomes a giant hassle. Like, how much babysitting are you going to provide just because of a sub-blaster? That's too much. I don't like it. Sadly. This will be here, though. Enjoy that, Measy. Uh, you're my beacon of hope. On that side. Oh, look at us. Picking the... 
ultimately going in all the wrong directions and finally finding out that the left side is the path to go. I wonder if the floor is generated fully or if there's RNG every time you open a door, like, would there have been a chance for the right side to be the correct side? And now we ended up in this situation or was it already predetermined that the left side was going to be the side to go through? I don't know. I like your questions, though. Okay, hero defense plus 100. Defense of crystal lowered, but honestly, no one's gonna lay a finger on my crystal. So, no problem. We're gonna power every room that we come across in this direction because of the crystal being there. I mean, the exit being, uh, being there, so you wanna light the entire path. Finding a couple of dead ends would help, too. Doors, four doors, five doors, absolutely worth it. Um, science is doing fine. Industry is not fine, but in no time, we're around like what, 300 industry when we started this floor, or 400 industry? I think by the end of the floor, this floor, we're also gonna have something like that, if not more, actually. Waves? No waves. Wow, okay. Alright. Not gonna argue with that. Let's get this one. Yeah, liquor production is at plus 22. Three waves coming through. Yeah, they're not gonna have a chance at all with suppressive firebot and tear gas. Touch him and he's dead. You know, two of these that that did all right damage to that guy. What if I had three of these? Not now. I'm not gonna waste any more money on this room, especially being so close to the end of the floor. But what if I had three of them in a room with Norison module? I don't know. I don't even want to think about it, honestly. It hurts my brain. 46 research. Okay, buddy. Check out this crystal here. Tell me that it's going to be an Orson module. Tell me you love me. You see, oh, ha, ha. yeah, everything I hope for. There is some module. Yeah, everything I need. Get strong. Get dusty. No. Not Ken, he's a punk. I'm talking about that explodey fat dude. It reminds me of the Monty Python meaning of life scene to the guy who goes to the restaurant and has a just a thin wafer, sir. Just it's just a thin wafer. And then he explodes. An explosion of vomit. Can we say technically better? Nah. Wait, your speed is at 30 now? That's quite impressive. <laughs> Sellable. Definitely. Alright. Well. Um. Okay. This is 
strange part of the floor. I don't know what to do exactly. We're gonna go up here. It's probably gonna be nothing. Excuse my coffee burps. See? Already 338. We're gonna hit 360 right now. Right now. Ooh, baby. Get him good. Get him real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. We do have three more doors. I want to test something else. I want to see if making another one of these guys will, will be at all effectual. Just, just testing things. Just testing things. Don't get mad. Get glad. And they get three sixty sixty no scopes on. Do we have research going still? For yep. All right, Noristan. This could be the exit. Yup, called it. Pretty close. Five rooms away from the crystal. Not too bad. We have extra dust. Um. Check this one out. We're probably at the end of the dungeon ish. Alright, let's check this out. It did make a huge difference. Now, I can't tell if the difference is coming from. Oh, oh, uh oh, 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 don't die. Don't die. Now, I don't know if the difference is coming from the tear gas minor modules dealing their DPS, because they they do 6 damage per second each, so that's 12 damage per second, or if it's coming from like the further divided defense of the monsters. Hmm. Good question. Good question. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. Random, right? But just crystal safetyness. Safetyness. Safety. Easy. You have earned it. Right, Hellfire is a, a dot ability, damage over time. 25 to monsters, 12 for heroes. My god. Maisie and Elise. Want to bring the entire freaking team down. Self is not affected by any damage over time. Cool. Cool. Cool, and it summons a demon, right? A fiery sulfur-smelling tempest damages monsters and heroes in the room. Yeah, it's like bringing him into the third dimension. All right. So she's very capable of handling a room by herself because her attack speed goes up, her attack power goes up, her attack range goes up, and then you can do damage over time for that room. So even though she's a downer, she is... she can blaze him up. 420. See? It's further. Attack power goes up if alone in a room. Yeah, she's, she's all about being alone in the room. Another happy pills. Of what variety? What level? Same common level. It does increase wit. Wit to speed 2. You don't need happy pills. It does give you attack power, but... Interesting. I think I'd rather ha her have uh, the attack power. Eight hundred HP is pretty decent, and I'd also like her to have. Do I want her to have the speed? No, I mean not necessarily. Right. 
Okay. Well. This is bad-ish. I thought we were going to get dust and power the room, but... Unfortunately not. It's not going to break our operations here whatsoever. We're at 419 industry, 600 food, 60 science, in fact. Speaking of which, what do we have? Uh -huh. You came back, huh? Oh. Oof. Gotta. What's the next one gonna be? Tell me. It's gonna be good. Uh, no, it's not. Six. Six. Not quite necessary. This could be nice. I might do a reroll on the next floor. We'll see about that. But can... We don't have to worry about door rashers. I'm just gonna open this door. Dust me. Good. That's four waves. Jeez. Um. Elise, we're done with productions. I'm sure you guys can handle it. This is nothing. Yeah, go crazy on them. Decent floor, lots of treasure chests. <gasps> Purple and operas. What? What? Plus seven wit. <laughs> These helpful microscopic creatures will repair your body and be the best wingman around. That's right. At least this is yours. This is. So very yours. Take the lucky rabbit's foot off. Nano bros. Um, does anybody want this? Do you want this? Your DPS is pretty high. Would you like some extra HP? That's a decent amount. Puts you over 800. You can brag about it to your friends. To your friends! I think you I think you want it. I can see it on your face, Ken. Don't even lie to me. You can't hide that expression from me. Look how happy he is now. And he feels uh, smarter. We're not gonna open this last door. Uh, we're gonna take everybody to their destination. And then we're gonna check their speeds. 23, 38, 30. 36 can. 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 Measy. Stand guard here. Can. Actually, no, Measy, you go. Essa, you're really, really tough. You stand guard. Can. One dude came. 
Oh no, they're coming. Go for it. Well, it seems like the Sib Blasters could do some good work. I guess in the right environment and upgraded enough. Keep in mind, we're on floor 6 with Sub Blaster 1s, so it's not too surprising that they didn't do that much damage. Weird question, but why does this elevator have a 1 button? My weird question to you is why do you keep asking the same question? Alright, there you have it. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And thank you for your time and attention. I'll see you on the 7th floor tomorrow. Goodbye.